Good morning, everybody. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. We praise you, Lord Jesus, and we thank you, God, that you kept us through the night. You woke us up this morning. Every day that we live on planet Earth is a gift of grace from you. I love what this um, psalm says. I wait for the Lord, my soul doth wait. It's King James. I wait for the Lord, my soul doth wait, and in his word do I hope. My soul waiteth for the Lord more than they, wa they that watch for the morning. I say more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. And so I had read a um, commentary about a waiting on the Lord recently, and it was saying that um, for regarding this part, it says more than the, they watch for the morning. It was saying that the Lord is just as sure as the sun will rise the next day. So more than the watchmen wait for warning, morning, remember, you know, in um, Israel's days, they had watchtowers and they would have um, people um, standing on that high tower and they would be... Um, waiting for the morning because then their shift would be over and then it would be you know kind of safety you know no um burglars or uh evil armies it, intruders would be coming once the morning came it would be okay great my shift is over now i can get some rest and so it says you know my soul the deepest part of my being waits for the lord more than they watch for the morning and just as sure as the sun rises we know that our lord is powerful to save he um will come through in whatever way he sees fit you know um and i've just been really thinking about is you know we just had that eclipse yesterday and how we're looking up for our redemption draws nigh. We're waiting for our Lord to return. And as I was reading in Luke's gospel, it said, you know, those that, that um, are intent on burglarizing a home, um, if the homeowner knew when they would come, they would um, be, you know, vigilant and aware. And so we, as God's people, as children of the Lord, as children of the word, we're studying the scriptures. We're seeing the signs everywhere um, that he's going to come again very, very soon. And so let's continue to press into the Lord. And um, I just wanted to pray real quick for my precious sister in Christ, who's having surgery this morning, Audrey, and so many other things to pray for. But um, Let's just uh, go before our precious Lord. Thank you, God, that we have hope in you. We have peace in you. We have rest in you. We can wait with eager anticipation, Lord, whether we're waiting for revival, whether we're waiting for, for waiting for a prodigal to return, whether we're waiting for, you know, a doctor's um, phone call or like my sister Audrey about to have surgery waiting for the surgery to be completed and her family's waiting for them to say all done um, she's resting now and she'll be able to you know go home I'm not sure if it's inpatient or outpatient or waiting you know I, I think of another sister in Christ who's waiting for a husband she's been waiting for a long time resting in God's grace in his arms in her singleness Lord um, some people are waiting for for something, Lord, but our souls choose to wait in the true and living God. I love that. You are true. There is no lie in you. You are not a man that you should lie. You are perfect and truthful and full of truth. Um, you are the way. We can trust in your path. As I started reading Pilgrim's Progress, you are the way that we walk upon, Lord. It's steep sometimes. It's a crawl sometimes. But you are the way, Jesus. And we don't want to turn to the right or to the left. Prone to wander, Lord, we feel it. Prone to leave the God we love. Keep us on that straight path, the narrow path that leads to life. You are the way. You are truth and you are life, Lord. There's no other life than what we have in you, God. As I, you told Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. I'm thinking of that beautiful song we used to sing, there is no one else for me, none but Jesus. Our life is bound up in you, Jesus. Our life is bound up in the one who bled and died for us at Calvary's cross. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus, for giving us life. By your stripes, we're healed. You took the scourging. You took the beating. You took the shame. You were defamed. You were despised and rejected. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. You came lowly and riding on a donkey, but you're going to come again riding on a white horse with the sword in your hand and fire in your eyes. And we can't wait, Lord. Purify our hearts. Let us be as gold and precious silver. Purify our hearts. Let us be as gold, pure gold, refiner's fire. Our heart's one desire is to be holy, 
set apart for you, Lord. I choose to be holy, ready to do your will. Lord, what is your will for us today? We know you. your word says, in everything give thanks. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Help us, Lord, to pray, to fast, to wait on you, to press into you, to give you praise, Lord. Sometimes you tell me, turn off the intercession, my daughter, and just praise me. So sometimes you ask me to stop interceding for people and just to worship lord come let us worship and bow down let us kneel before the lord our god our maker for he is our god and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand thank you god for being al roy the god who sees thank you god for being al kana who's jealous for our love thank you god for being the door the gate for the sheep thank you god for being the light of the world the vine and we are the branches thank you jesus for being melech king of kings and lord of lords alpha and omega beginning and the end, the author and finisher of our faith. You are Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Oh, how we praise you, Lord. Thank you, God, for being the one that knit us in our mother's womb, Lord, from when we were, before we were even a twinkle or a thought in our parents' eyes. You knew us and you loved us. You gave us a unique thumbprint, a unique DNA. Father, you created Isaac special. You created each and every one of us special, Lord. We look at the stars. We look at the sunshine. We look at the birds singing and chirping. We look at some of my friends live where it snows, at the snow, at, at trees, Lord, at, at the, the, the coming of spring or for us in California, perpetual spring. And we say, hallelujah, Jesus. You are the God of every season. And like it says in Ecclesiastes, he makes everything beautiful in its season lord thank you for that god you bring beauty from ashes sorrow to joy mourning to dancing god let our praises arise to you god we worship you forgive us of all of our sins cleanse us wash us lord what can wash away our sins nothing but the blood of jesus maranatha come quickly lord i pray for my sister audrey as she's about to have surgery or she might be in surgery right now holy spirit guide that surgeon's hands holy spirit comfort her Holy Spirit, be with her husband and her children, Lord. Holy Spirit, be with those people in Israel that are so afraid of bombs and threats and death and and um, harm, Lord. Be with, I don't even know if there's still hostages. I'm sure there are. Release those hostages, God. I pray they wouldn't be mistreated, that they would be getting bread and water and sunshine and that you would give them hope, Lord, hope against hope, and that those in Israel that don't yet know you would be saved, Lord. You said in the last days there's going to be that 144,000 that would be preserved lord i don't understand all the ins and outs in revelation but you just reminded me that there's always a remnant there's always souls that you will save god so we pray for the peace of israel lord i pray for the sick the downcast the heavy-hearted lord jesus i pray for that young man sebastian that wanted to um inflict harm and evil on oc and kill people but you thwarted that evil plan god and you are so faithful to do that i think of jael that woman that took that tent peg and that hammer and she killed that evil king king lord make us women and men of valor lord that we will fight on our knees in prayer lord jesus interceding for our husbands interceding for our children interceding for our neighbors for strangers for people at church lord god i thank you that every single sunday there's an announcement come up if you need prayer lord and there should be lines and lines of people coming for prayer but many people leave downcast lord help us to cast our cares on you because you care for us lord jesus help us to trust in you with all our heart you are a living hope you are the god who rose from the dead jesus we worship you we love you we praise you we adore you heavenly father i pray for my brother anthony as he is looking for a job lord bring him back to church lord help him not to um be at home downcast may he come to wednesday nights or sunday mornings or watch online or whatever you have for him but may he not forsake the assembly of the children of god lord be with my sister magali as um her son adil has been wrestling and battling with alcohol and other various addictions help him save his soul lord save calvin's soul save becca and annie's soul lord i thank you for sarah janine yamamoto's daughter who's pregnant and and she's newly married and she's expecting what a blessing lord babies are a gift from you i pray for that little girl or boy that's growing in her womb that this child would be healthy father i pray for janine's body that she would be healthy i re i pray in the name of jesus you would heal her of that cancer remove all the cells off of her body remove the cancer cells from all of those loved ones we're praying for kathy and lance and monique and so many others and some have even passed away like my brother in christ tim and even like um 
uh, uh, Michael bore, Lord Jesus. We thank you for those who, who ran their race well, whether they were 15 or 42 or older in age from cancer. Lord, we know cancer is a bully. I pray for my precious sister in Christ, um, Adriana, as her dad is battling pancreatic cancer. She shared with me the other day that the prognosis is grim. He's going to be having chemo and it's very unlikely he'll survive this cancer. But Lord, we know that you are, know the number of our days. You know the number on our head, hairs on our very own heads, God. So be with Adriana's dad, God. Be with Anyala. She was in that terrible car accident, Lord. I pray for cross trainers as they meet this morning. I pray for each and every woman's Bible study, man's Bible study, couple's Bible study, Lord. Those that are going to the jails like Jose, Vera, and preach the gospel, Lord. Thank you, Father, for those that are bold to give the gospel out, Lord. Your word says how beautiful are the feet to those who preach the gospel of peace. So we pray that you would give us beautiful feet, Lord. Help us to be bold. Help us to smile at people. Help us to preach the gospel every day. If necessary, use words. And when the opportunity comes, we would use words, God. I pray for my beautiful mom, Becky. I thank you for my mom. She is the most precious woman on this earth, Lord. She is amazing, God. I pray that you would sustain her. You would hold her up. You would give her good health. Prepare her for her trip in July, Lord. I thank you that I could hear my son just repeating phrases that that means he's okay. That means he's healthy, Lord. He is sick with autism, but Lord, right now he is smiling. He's waiting for the van to come pick him up. Lord, he likes school and I'm so grateful for that. I pray for each and every special ed teacher, each and every special aid aid. I thank you for Miss Janelle, Miss Becca, Miss Frunder, so many others, Miss Shannon that have loved on Isaac over the years. It makes me want to cry just to think of these special women and men who have poured your love into these broken lambs, autistic kids and, and adults even, Lord. I pray for Erica and Raul with their son Joshua as he's been battling so many things. Give him peace. Flood him with peace, Father. Give him the right medication so he won't get aggressive, Lord Jesus. I pray for Lauren as she's autistic. She has heavy-duty pain periods and she cries from the pain of cramps. She's in her 20s and she's autistic, Lord, and she can't talk and yet she cries from pain be with lauren jesus comfort her in her time of mourning and need i mean she call out to you even though she's silent she doesn't have words she can talk via an ipad and you love her and you love her parents her family thank you so much god for those that don't even speak like max lord so many who are artistic and don't have words god but you be their mouth you be their advocate you be their the one that carries them god thank you so much for those that are are, are sick and hurting like like yoon but yet you Bless them with Shami and Connor and Cameron and Sandy and others that could come alongside and, and, and help them and love on them, God. Be with Chuck and I. Give us strength, Lord. Give us your grace for the day. Bless Olivia and all of those high school seniors that will be graduating from high school, Lord, that they would go out into this world and be bold for you, that they would not... um grow weary and well-doing, Jesus, that they would love you and seek your kingdom first, Lord. I pray for all of my precious brothers and sisters at Calvary Chapel, Pomona Valley, Calvary Montclair, Calvary Chino Valley, Chino Hills, Idaho, um, Montana, Calvary Bozeman, um, Mac Missoula, where Donnie and Gephardt, uh, Donnie and Jen Gephardt serve for beautiful Raquel. Prepare her for moving to Idaho and bless her, Jesus. Bless her over and abundantly, Lord. Prepare them and their new community. Lord, I pray for, um, for um, Rachel and Reuben as they're in Idaho, that you would bless their sweet time with their grandchildren, God. I pray for my sister, Lord Patsy, that she would be on fire for you, that she would walk so close with you, like it says in Colossians, for all the sisters and brothers that we love and hold so dearly, that they would walk worthy of you, Lord, fully pleasing you and increasing in the knowledge of God, like it says in Colossians. We pray that Colossians verse over our sisters, over our brothers, over our children, and those of us that even have grandchildren, that you would bless them with a walk that is worthy, that they would forsake this world and the treats and delicacies of this world, like Daniel, Shadrach, and Meshach, and Abednego did. They said, we don't want to eat the king's uh, uh, meat and and savory foods we reject that just give us vegetables and fruits and watch what god will do lord and that was a special time for daniel to stand firm and not to forsake his jewish upbringing and we lord don't want to forsake what you've called us to lord each one of us have a special calling help us to um 
cling to it, to cling to you, Jesus, and to obey when you whisper in our ears, say, pray with that sister, pray with that brother, encourage that person, hug that person, help us to be bold in our faith, comforting in our hugs, fervent in our prayers, and forgive us daily of our sins, Father. Help us, help us, Jesus. We need you so desperately. We pray for our beloved pastors, those that teach your word, God, line upon line, precept upon precept, Father, not just the ordained pastors, but those that are shepherds, people like my husband, that will give the gospel out and share scriptures with strangers, with people at his workplace, people at the skate park, everywhere he goes. Bless my husband. Bless those ministers of your word, whether they're ordained or not. Bless the men in our lives that love you, Jesus, and help them to walk with you. And for those that are backslidden, God, our hearts are so heavy. I'm getting a stomachache just thinking about it. For the prodigals that have um, delved into drugs, alcohol, new ageism, homosexuality, transgenderism, porn, money, pride, sex, whatever indulgence, Lord, it's not from you. They're false idols. They don't talk. They don't counsel. They don't give us comfort and they don't give us salvation. They're lies. Help them to run and to see how deadly how deadly these vices are and that they would flee and they would come to their knees and say, forgive me, God, I am a sinner. Lord, that's all it takes. We pray you would quicken the prodigal's hearts to come home before that last trumpet sounds, Lord. I want to pray for the widows this morning, Lord, as I think of so many precious widows, my mom, Sherry Tima, Francie, Glenda, Gwen, um, widowers, Lord, like Sergio, Father, so many widows, Lord, be with the widows, comfort them, Kathy Montobias, Lord, comfort them, Jesus, Angelina, Lord, Kayla and Gayla, bless these widows, give them strength, help them to run this race with endurance, Jessica Kruger, Lord, bless the widows, wrap your arms of love around them, be their husbands, their ish, their husband, their maker, be with um, those that are not widows in the sense their husband's dead, but they're widows in the sense their husband's abandoned them and they're single and divorced, Lord. Lord, be with those women and men too that are divorced and they're grieving, but yet their joy is in you. Be their spouse, God. Give them, provide for their every single need, Father. Like the widow in Elijah's story, God, where um, the oil did not... Um, dry up and the the flower did not run dry that you supply jehovah jireh supply for the widows and supply for the orphans god and i want to pray for the troubled marriages lord as there are so many father we pray that you holy spirit would breathe breathe and resuscitate and breathe new life into these troubled um, marriages god that are suffering they're separated or they're divorced and maybe it's even been years i'm thinking of one of chuck's brothers in christ um Oh gosh, I forgot his name, but he's in the mess halls and he, um, he's been separated from his wife for a long, long time. And now he's out of his apartment and he has nowhere to go. Would you just bring reconciliation to that marriage? God, I know that you can, I know that there's no marriage that's beyond repair. Just as I watched that beautiful movie, the blind that, um, that Duck Dynasty movie, Phil um, Robertson. And I love how you restored his mind and you rebuked the demons off of him and you healed his marriage and you blessed him a hundredfold. And I pray for the troubled marriages that you would do it again, Lord, that you would heal the brokenhearted, Father. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, for this prayer time. Thank you that Isaac's been calm so I can pray. Thank you for my brothers and sisters that pray alongside with me. Lord, this is all for you. This is nothing for me. This is all for you, Jesus. Come and get your glory, Lord. Exalt the Lord. Lord most high and worship at his feet for he is holy for the Lord our God he is holy he is holy you are holy God Yahweh Kana you are jealous God jealous for our love we praise you we worship you we give you glory we give you honor the victory is ours in Jesus Christ's name we pray amen God bless you guys